Hi folks, David Fine from Keys Mods. I'm in my backyard, actually out here picking star fruit. Star fruit trees are, are, are ripe and ready. I've actually got some Anonas too. Guys, if you've never had Anona, sugar apple, Anona, uh, they've got a couple app or, uh, a couple different names. Uh, guys, you gotta try these fruits, but love being down here in South Florida because growing fruit trees, these tropical fruit trees is pretty easy. But while in the front yard, in the backyard, guys, in one day, the other day, I saw all five species of large or giant sulfurs in South Florida. We've got five species of sulfurs, large sulfurs in South Florida. Saw them all in my backyard in the same day. Check this out because I'm gonna show you some video clips that I took of all five species. Uh, guys, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna educate you on butterflies and moths of South Florida. Guys, check it out. guys let's see what we can find so right off the bat there is white peacocks floating around and these guys are always impossible to get close to guys white peacocks are impossible to get close to yep they're impossible all right so let's see what else we got windy all right We've got our zebra, zebra, white peacock, there he is, I know I saw a statira, there's a female statira right there, trying to lay some eggs on our coin vine, hello little lady, <laughs> it's about a 20 mile an hour wind, it's pushing pushing these bugs around quite a bit. But my coin vine is just getting destroyed by these statira. Let's see if we can find any caterpillars. Oh, look, there's, there's one right there. Check it out. Statira caterpillar. Super cool. Anona's full, full of fruit. Waiting for these guys to ripen a little bit. If you've never had sugar apple or known as squamosa, you're missing out, man. It's good stuff. All right, my tree's full. Is this, this guy right? Oh, yeah, he's ready. Bam. Awesome. I'm going to eat this guy right now. That guy ready? Let's see. No? Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect little snack right here, guys. Inside, you got this fleshy stuff right here that covers the black seeds, and that stuff is so sweet, so good. And so I can have Nona and Starfruit. Look at that. Good snack. Here's my snack for today, guys Nona and Starfruit. There's a female peacock there. show you what female peacocks they're laying eggs on this stuff right here the creeping charlie that's a larval host plant for the white peacock it grows in the grass here just about everywhere
guys, Orange Bar Giant Sulfur. There's another one. That's a fast butterfly, man. That guy is big and he is fast, but he loves firebush. <laughs> he can't help himself. Look at him. Beautiful bug. That's a big sulfur, guys. All right guys, so here's our horse flesh mahogany tree in the front yard. I was hoping to come out here and find a female pink spot sulfur laying eggs. There's none out here right now, but the tree is loaded with eggs. So there's technically another species of butterfly. Let me see if I can find a caterpillar. Usually they're not too hard to find, but this, all the new growth has these little, these little eggs, these little yellow eggs peppered on it. Let's see, yep, there's some caterpillars, look. So we got one, two caterpillars, probably second or third instar caterpillars, pink spot sulfur caterpillars. We found eggs, we found caterpillars, and here are some empty pupa shells. There's two empty pupa shells of the pink spot sulfur guys. They're just sitting here on a tree. They've long since emerged. Here's another one, look. Here's another empty pupa shell. Pink spot sulfur guys. Female pink spot sulfur laying eggs on my Horse flesh mahogany lysoloma tree. There she is. All right, so that's three species of large sulfurs in my yard. Look, she's laying eggs all over the place. How cool is that? Look, here she is. Pink spot sulfur, guys. This is a rare bug, exotic. And all you have to do is plant the right plant in your yard and you'll have them. Guys, here's Phoebus Seni. This is the cloudless sulfur. We've got a cloudless sulfur here, getting chased by a statira. So that's the fourth of the large sulfurs. All we need now is a large orange sulfur, Phoebus agarithi, and we will have all five giant sulfurs of South Florida seen in my yard on the same day. Oh, and there's a statira again. Well, there's a, there's an agarithi guys, large orange sulfur. It's the fifth, the fifth of the large, large sulfurs, the giant sulfurs in South Florida. Here we go, it's all in one day. That is awesome. All five giant sulfurs in my yard in one day. This guy's cooperating. Finally, I have a agarithi cooperating with me, guys. These guys are not easy to follow. They sit for about a second and then they split. I'm glad this guy is finally cooperating with me until a statira comes and messes me up. Look at this guy. Yep, there he goes.
Look at that, guys. Awesome. Look at that. All right, folks, hope you liked that video. Uh, pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. We didn't get too crazy with macro shots. Just literally all these videos were taken with my phone. Uh, so guys, all five species of giant sulfurs in South Florida, in my backyard, on the same day. So that's super cool. Um, all you gotta do is plant the right plants. So uh, guys, I'm gonna pick me a star fruit. I love having one of these guys uh, kind of as dessert as we eat dinner. Uh, but guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel because we go on adventures all the time in South Florida and we're gonna teach you all about butterflies and moths. We've got a great website. It's keysmoths.com. Show you all about butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys. Uh, paradise down here, guys. I know so many people that see these videos coming into the winter season. It's gonna be cold. Uh, come down to South Florida and you can find some cool bugs. Uh, even in the winter. So, guys, till next time, enjoy South Florida. Get out there and uh, let's find some bugs. Take care.